party. He's doing something in your life. Don't be bashful. This is something that's between you and God. It's a personal decision. But he loves you if you do not know Jesus, if you're away from him. I encourage you to come, respond, and let God become the Lord of your life. And it'll be the greatest thing you've ever done in your life. As I said, nearly 30 years ago, I did this, and I've never looked back. He's real. How are you? I'd like to say a prayer with you to invite you to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You're here tonight, and I want you to say this prayer. Would you say this prayer after me? Okay, let's say it out loud. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. I confess that I am a sinner. I ask that you'll forgive me of my sin. I ask that you come into my life to be my Lord and Savior. I ask that you, you help me to live the Christian life all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Congratulations. I'd like to pray for you. Father, we come before you right now in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, for these precious souls that responded and accepted you as their Lord and Savior. I thank you, God, for all that you're doing in their lives. And I thank you for the ones in the, in the crowd that do, have not responded, but you're tugging at their heart. And God, I'm asking you to do a powerful work in each person's life that's responded. We thank you for the privilege to be able to present this message of hope. Holy Spirit, do your work in their lives. Make yourself real to them. And we thank you for all that you're doing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Would you like to stay down here? We've got some people coming to talk to you. For the ones that are here that maybe could not respond, would you consider the message that I've spoken about tonight? We're not here to scam anybody. We're not here to pull the wool over people's eyes. Nearly 30 years ago, God set me free. And I travel the world now to be able to present that message of hope because we don't have to go down the path we're going. We don't have to live the life we're living. And it may be a good life, but we've got it. can be so much better. I want to thank you for coming along. I'm just going to hand it over to the pastor of the church and uh, he'll just say a few words. Thank you very much.